The end of February sees the return of the Japanese J-League, where in recent years, football has played a key role, helping one city emerge from the dark shadows of the past. Hiroshima was completely and utterly destroyed by the bomb. And there was absolutely nothing left here. But the city recovered from complete destruction, thanks to all the hard work put in by the people of Hiroshima. The current champions, Sanfrecce Hiroshima, have defied the odds and surprised everybody by winning three J-League titles in the last four seasons. First and foremost, we're a small club, even domestically. Our budgets are among the bottom half of the J-League table, so we're certainly not a big team. We are a provincial club based in Hiroshima, and it is often difficult to attract players with huge sums of money. So we needed to nurture our own talents here. Our long-term development plan has finally blossomed, and we got the results we deserved. Success has been a long time coming for the club. Echoing the J-League, making a mark has been a careful, patient process. Since the J-League began, we hadn't won a thing. The first trophy finally arrived after 20 years, when we became league champions. The J-League set out with the intention of thriving within local communities and it's been progressing like that for over 20 years. So we're attracting more local supporters. Japanese football has developed and improved dramatically over the last 20 years. But if it feels as though we're not making fast enough progress, that's only because world football has also been developing over the same period. But compared to when I was a professional, the players, the industry in general, and the infrastructure, the quality has improved in every aspect. Helping this improvement has been Japan's regular exposure to the world's best players. As host to the Toyota Cup and then the FIFA Club World Cup, the game stars continue to make the trip to compete in Japan. Thanks to the fact that we've had the Toyota Cup in Japan for over 30 years, many children have been influenced and have started playing football. The tournament itself is very exciting. Loads of people who don't usually watch the J-League become interested. And there are also large numbers of football fans abroad who turn their eyes to Japan because of it. Japan's national team remains a work in progress. Despite regular World Cup appearances in the modern era, failure to emerge from the group stage in Brazil was seen by many as a backward step. But those at the top believe the Samurai Blue are doing it the right way. In the 1970s and 80s, the Japanese national team wasn't even in the top level of Asian football. However, in the last 20 years or so, we've managed to take part in five World Cups. In order to perform well on the world stage, we need to identify and express our traditional Japanese characteristics and where our strengths lie. There's still a lot of room for improvement in that department. We've managed to get to the last 16 of the World Cup twice now, but we need to get to the last eight, so little by little the bar is raised. However, we are under no illusions about miracles in football. If there aren't miracles in football, Sanfrecce Hiroshima's success story comes close. The coach told us, what you need to do is to continue working on the things that you take for granted, the small things. Then, together, we will reach that special goal. When I heard this, I realized, wow, we should all be thinking this way. And Moriyasu's galvanizing approach has led many to tip him as a future manager of the national team. If I'm asked whether he is an idealist or a realist, he is definitely the latter. And because of this, he's able to make correct decisions as a manager. He is also a great communicator 
and talks well to the players, which helps create solidarity in a competitive team. Of course, it would be nice to be respected at the very highest levels of the game. But for the moment, I'm happy to be managing Sanfrecce Hiroshima for as long as possible. I'd like to do well at this club, and then we'll see where that might take me.